Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you the modifications of my uh, turbojet combustor or annular combustor to run on wood gas. I wanted to know how the two stage gasifier is starting up on the raw gas and then creating clean gas. And for the future, that's most likely really useful so to test that i made a few modifications just a few i'm gonna weld this in the gasifier shell and i can cap it off whenever the it's hot enough and everything then the bottom of this thing spark plug i increase these holes and then on my uh, turbo jet it run on propane so I drilled this extra hole and I increased all the holes to uh, 3 mm and this is 4.5 to uh, spread the gas out an analog combustion shell is uh, most of them will do 20% 30% and 50% air addition they do that because um, the lower part, the burn is really slow and really rich and that means that the flame is not extinguished by all the airspeed and everything. And as you can see it getting hot enough, but on the bottom, uh, the bottom centimeter never get any significant temperature. Put on the light. Like this, it's nothing special, just an empty thin shell. This thing has run for hours and hours, and it never gets hot. Yeah, slightly warm, so you you know 60 degrees, and you can can't hold it for very long. Well, uh, the flame is blasting out of here. This part is getting hot, but only the lid, you know, halfway, and this was not hot at all. Especially because this is a kind of a cyclone kind of a swirl, so it swirls around here and divides up both ways. Most of it is going here, which is the hottest temperature, so this is being cooled down the most. So that's perfect. They really thought of uh, how to design analog combustors back in the day. And this slides in here. You can see it's uh, more or less sealing off. It sticks a little bit outside, and that's good because then we're gonna squeeze it in, and that will decrease this gap. Some place you have a little, a little gap between the converging part, and then you have this uh, little uh, things to hold it in the middle. And off you go. And because this is not getting as hot, I'm gonna use this time high heat silicon and not uh, refractory cement because that freaked up the screws. So I'll be right back. And there we are, all assembled. Just tested the spark plug and it worked. Magnificently, magnificently, this thread fits right in here. It'll just push, fit, and uh, you know, don't fall up. So whenever then it's hot enough, we can uh, remove it. And air fan feeding into the gas fire from here. I have this thing, can push it in here when we don't use it for the air for another type. It's one of those butterfly valves. And this end will fit in here and the other end will fit over this one. Also push fit like this one. And it will be plenty because there's no pressures 
generated here at least no significant amount of pressure like in the turbojet en en engine video i did a year ago or so so let's start the gasifier and see how it performs and gasifier just started up i mounted the cyclone here now and normally the igniter is in between here so uh, the gas is cleaning up pretty good takes a little while and here's the combustor mounted on this uh, pipe clamps the air is already attached some air is flowing in there the ignition is on so i estimate that whenever we put in the gas we close the gas first it's the most safe way inserted it in here now and then uh, open the gas slowly Ooh. wow that burns a little bit more gas wow Beautiful. And now put in more air or less gas at the same time. restrict the air a little bit more and we're back opening the gas now oh wow Ooh, look at that full open now 27 volts uh, four centi five centimeters Add a little more air now. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Air. Air is now full open. We need less air because then the combustion is not lean. Oh, now it's rich. Gee. Wow, I can, I can feel the heat from here. Crazy stuff. More air. Four centimeters is, uh, yeah, what is, what is it? Five cubic meters an hour or something. Wow, this is really nice. Let's check this fire a bit. Oh, you can hear that. It'll warm up the gasifier pretty quickly. So, the heat. I'm gonna stand from, from the little distance and then zoom in pretty bad. Oh, and then the quality is pretty crappy. <laughs> wow. So 
we are in the air now a bit. It seems that it's only on the first stage now when the air is fully open and the gas is less of course. Restrict the gas a bit. Now it's the gas off. Stage one, stage two, stage three. <coughs> awesome. Let's increase the gas flow a bit. And make this little Ooh, thirty volts. Oh, yeah. British table now. <laughs> More air. Air is full open. Still, this air is very hot. Because now it's a lean burn. Now the air is about 50% open. Awesome. You don't want a flame to come out actually because uh, dial the air back a bit. Let's see how much. That's only half a centimeter. That's not full capacity. You need a second. Uh, about five cubic meters an hour. Perfect. It's still, so the ratio is different. A little bit more air, or the flame is not going. Now the first stage is out. You can hear it come back, and you see getting. You see, this is a ridge burn. This, this is the right one. Wow, the heat! Oh my! Well, it's worked pretty good. Yeah, this worked really well. Look at the flame, yeah. Perfectly blue inside. Buh. Buh. Nice. Slightly warm to the touch. Left side and right side doesn't matter at all. Ooh. Yeah, here it's getting there. But this part is just, the back part is, ow, <laughs> it was the electricity, uh-huh. In the middle it's really cool. A little bit of flame coming out now, slightly. Oh, I'm 
Jeez. The camera. <laughs> Awesome. Well, th thank you for watching and see you next time. Share, like and subscribe.